Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here from Red Bandana Gaming and yep, you read that right. We're playing Cat Lateral Damage. Never heard of this game before. Um, I saw it on sale in the PlayStation Store for, I think it was like $2, $2, $3. And I was like, okay. I watched the trailer. It was so cheesy. But I was like, yeah, I, I, I got to get this. So, invert Y. I have to invert. Okay, save. Back. Let's learn how to play cat lateral damage. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. See? It's like the little image says. Knock objects movement. Okay. Plotting. Left and right triggers. Jump. Okay. Jump. Wow, this cat can jump. <laughs> oh, I have to knock that off the wall, too. Because this is, this is what cats do in real life. And it breaks. Knock that off the wall. There we go. You jump off the wall. Didn't I jump in the box? All that to sleep in the box. Cat training complete. So everybody, that's now. <laughs> okay. Meowvelous. Objects toppled. Now go make some misses.
Definitely don't give you enough time to knock over 150 items. Do I have to do it again? Reminds me of my cat when I was a kid. So I got beat this whole thing in like three minutes? Okay, that's worth it. It's five minutes. 240 objects? or something. Okay. This game isn't that fun. I thought it was going to be much more fun. This is actually rather tedious. The fact that you're timed and you're like super timed. I think if it was exaggerated, because all I'm doing is L trigger, uh, L2 and R2. That's the whole game. L2 and R2. Oh, so if they fall on the bed, it still doesn't. Okay, this is shit. Because you're a cat. You're doing what cats do. So everything has to go on the floor. And if it's on the bed, it doesn't count. I hate games that become tedious, and this is just tedious. So instead of. Oh, ah, this is just me. Look at us. You're gonna waste so much time just trying to get shit into the floor. It should be just if you knock it over or off the whatever platform it was on. Okay, this is this is not fun. This is tedious and annoying. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not playing another one after this. This is boring. I mean, this should be fun. It should be wacky. You shouldn't be forced to be timed. Um, Because how does a cat have a sense of time? And what's with knocking over little robots? Yeah, so apparently that's upsetting. That's not even fun. The premise sounds great, and it sounds like it would be funny. I guess they give you six minutes and cool. You get really. This isn't fun. actually a very boring game um wow all you do is i got suckered it looked cool it's like hey this is gonna be fun you go around so it's very boring it's not like and you knock things over but if it doesn't get on the ground it doesn't matter that you knock it off the shelf and onto the bed it has to get on the ground because yeah That was not fun. That was actually very crap. Craptastic. Cat crap. Litter. This belongs in a litter box. It was physical. A piece of sh Nike. Awful. Awful. Boring. Don't buy it. It's not fun. Not enjoyable. It doesn't matter that you're one of the doing one of the coolest things that cats do. They just did it poorly. I mean enjoyable execution and it just wasn't fun so there you go don't play this game i played it for you don't it's, you don't need it anymore else you saw this it's bad enough 15 minutes of gameplay there you go hope you enjoyed yeah i did okay so 
Remember, head on over to Red Bandana Gaming. Dot com. Follow us on our socials at Red Bandana Gaming, Twitter at RBG underscore Retro. Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. You know, follow the, see it says it right there on the screen. Um, yeah, but thank you guys for watching this nonsense. And uh, yeah, like what I was saying, be legendary. Thanks again. Go buy some t-shirts. T-shirts. Please? Okay. Bye. Right.